Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. It says the height of an object t seconds after it's dropped from a height of 350 meters is s of t equals negative 4.9 t squared plus 350. Find the average velocity of the object during the first three seconds. So what I wanted to remind you of is position functions if we look at the slope of them, we're looking at, let's say that the position is uh, it's at three feet, at, or three meters in this case, at one second, right? We're comparing, we're, we're plotting the position in meters and seconds at a particular time. If you take the derivative of that type of position function, you are going to get a velocity. In fact, let me say that a different way. When you look at the slope of a position function, it's going to have units of meters per second. That's a velocity. Now, when I say slope, I could be talking about the slope of the secant line, the slope between two points. That's an average velocity. If I'm talking about the slope of a tangent line, remember that was instantaneous velocity. So in this problem, it doesn't differentiate for you. It just says find the average velocity. You have to know that they're referring to the slope of a secant line, slope between two points. And what two points are we talking about? Zero and three, because it's the first three seconds. Exactly. So the average velocity is going to be s of t2 minus s of t1 over t2 minus t1, the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Yes. The velocity is the derivative. If it's instantaneous velocity, we're talking about, yes. Instantaneous acceleration is the derivative of the velocity function, yes, the second derivative of the position. What you would have to do is you'd then plug in our time one and time two is zero and three. So we'd plug in three to the position function. We'd find out, okay, it's at a height of 305.9 meters. We'd plug in zero. That's easy. It, gets, it comes out to be 350 meters. So we're going to have to subtract 305.9 minus 350 and divide by three, the amount of time that has passed. Three minus zero is three. So it ends up being negative 14.7 again units are meters per second so that was number 19 on the review what does that negative mean it's going downward at a rate of 14.7 meters per second an average negative velocity yeah. an average velocity an average speed of 14.7 meters per second in the negative downward direction you would take the derivative of the position function if you wanted the instantaneous velocity formula. Okay? So, for example, if I said, what's the instantaneous velocity of the object at three seconds? You would take the derivative of the position function and plug in three. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.